I'm Dr. Christy Freddy Franzak, and thank you so much for your interest in masterminding. So if you're like me, you're like, hmm, I'm not so sure what a mastermind is. I originally, when I first heard it, I thought, is it a bunch of smart people getting together? Because I'm not so sure I want to be around a bunch of smart people. I mean, I want to be, but how will that make me feel, right? So um, uh, several years ago, I joined my first mastermind and found out that, yes, indeed, it was uh, surrounding myself with a lot of smart people, but the idea of it was for them to help make me smarter. And not just smarter meaning intellectually, but um, in terms of my emotional IQ, right, right? We call it the EQ, the emotional quotient, in terms of being able to really lift me up and help me find clarity in my work, help me um, be accountable to the goals that I set, help me when I was feeling kind of like down and out and not sure of what to do. And that's particularly necessary as a leader. Sometimes as a leader, it can be sort of a lonely job. Sometimes it can be that you're wearing so many hats that you've forgotten which hat is your hat right? And so you kind of get yourself lost in the day-to-day -day shuffle, um, putting fires out, um, feeling like sometimes you've got that imposter identity, like, should I be in this job? Who let me have this job? Why did I pick this job? Right? All of the above. So a mastermind is really right for you if you are looking to grow as a leader. Whatever your role title, doesn't matter. Um, each of us can um, really benefit from promoting our own um, sort of self-leadership as well as our leadership um, at the ground roots level in terms of our interactions with other human beings on a daily basis and then in a more formal way if we're a teacher leader or if we are um, the leader of an agency or a building or a district or a state or a country right we can all benefit from being a stronger leader so in the mastermind process we um, often meet uh, in a traditional way meaning that each session is very much scheduled and um, set. There is an opportunity to talk and get to know each other, certainly, because we all know that relationships are the active ingredient across the lifespan. However, during the mastermind session, we really need to keep a focus on how do we build our leadership skills? And we do that in a very strategic way. And so my job is to facilitate that process, keep time, keep everyone kind of grounded, uh, keep the uh, momentum going, as well as a bit of accountability in between the sessions. So each session lasts two hours. There are normally six of them across your mastermind cohort. So every two weeks or so, we gather together uh, video conferencing using Zoom. And um, we always start off with a moment to say hello to each other and do some contemplative reflection. And then we get straight to business. So each week, um, someone is, or actually two members of our cohort are in what we call the hot seat or the spotlight. And they have up to 40 minutes of dedicated attention on their goals, on their questions, on their challenges. And other members of the cohort really center around them to lift them up, to help them strategize, to help them seek answers that they kind of know, but have gotten lost again from putting all the fires out on a day-to-day -day basis. And then we have time to debrief, we have time to set action steps for the in-between times, and then we do um, sort of a gift giving of gratitude. So we open with reflection, we close with gratitude, and in between we do some heavy lifting in terms of really getting clear on our goals, uh, figuring out how best to support one another, and setting actionable steps that we can be accountable for in between our sessions. And so I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea of what it would look like. Um, each mastermind cohort has at least four members, typically not more than six plus me, um, and so it's a nice community of people who care um, only about your health and well-being, only about helping you grow and become the leader that you know that you can be and that you um, desire to be, whether this role is a new role, whether you're um, changing roles, whether you just want to get clarity on um, who you are in terms of walking this planet. So I hope that you will uh, consider applying. You can go to um, christypf.com forward slash learn hyphen more to read a little bit more about the mastermind process if it's right for you some frequently asked questions some testimonies from other masterminders as well as you can click on the apply now button so that's again christypf.com forward slash learn hyphen more